As we transition from gas-powered to electric vehicles over the coming decades, the materials we need to acquire from global supply chains are shifting. That means supply disruption vulnerabilities are also changing. Unlike oil, if the material supply for making EV batteries were disrupted, it would delay new vehicle production, but it wouldn't stop the economy from using the vehicles we already have. We need to understand these evolving vulnerabilities so that we can make strategic decisions. We studied the supply chains of critical materials used in electric vehicle batteries, including lithium, cobalt, nickel, and manganese. China currently plays a dominant role in multiple stages of the supply chain, from materials refining to the production of cathodes, batteries, and EVs. If China's exports were restricted, most of the global supply for battery materials would be disrupted. This would affect some EV battery chemistries more than others. The U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, passed in 2022, provides major incentives to shift these supply chains. Already, there have been hundreds of new developments in North America, primarily in manufacturing. The total credits available actually exceed the cost of making EV batteries, but it's hard to qualify for all of them. Only EV batteries made entirely without China are eligible for the largest credits, which isn't easy given China's dominant role throughout the supply chain. Will these incentives succeed in diversifying the supply chain and reducing risk? Or will automakers just dodge the restrictions by leasing vehicles instead of selling them? Stay tuned as we watch this issue at Carnegie Mellon.